Hey, welcome back to another 8 True One vlog. Today's my official vlog of the new year. So it is 2021, and this is the official vlog starting in 2021. But let's hang out. I'm gonna go grab some coffee as usual during my morning routines. It is Sunday, and we're gonna find Sunday activities. Let's get to it. <laughs> Coffee acquired. All right, so it is later on in the evening. It is 11.10, I guess not evening, in the morning, but it's later on than I normally wake up. So like I said, it's 11, oh, it's 11.11 now. But yeah, I'm gonna drink up this coffee, probably go for a run around 12-ish, cause I'm trying to stay healthy for 2021, cause gyms are still closed for another six months. And I'll probably not go to another gym for the rest of 2021, cause I bought a treadmill. And I'm working out on that. But anyway, I'm gonna drink up this coffee and then go for a run and I'm gonna get some sushi today because I had some sushi a few weeks ago. I know you saw that in the vlog and it was delicious. I've been thinking about it ever since. So I will be going back and then finding more activities to do on a Sunday fun day. Join me. Ah, it's so delicious. All right, so I'm back and I just got my sushi from Arigato Sushi. I know I said I was gonna get some sushi and I did. Talk about accomplishing my goals in 2021. You did it! Congratulations! My low sodium soy sauce because I gotta try to keep it healthier. And I've got my sushi. Last time I was here, which like I said, was two weeks ago, I ordered two rolls. That was a mistake because they're very big. They're massive sushi rolls here. But I got the firefighter roll because it has like this baked salmon on top. Delicious. I will show you guys right now what that roll looks like. Yup. Be envious, be hungry, this is delicious. Oh man, I cannot wait. I will take a bite on camera for you guys. You're welcome. FYI, I'm eating on top of like the steering dash wheel thing and I'm always really paranoid that it's gonna fall on my lap and I'm gonna get food all over me. I'm always super paranoid. All right guys, without further ado, you will see this first bite of this delicious, delicious sushi. God, last time I was here, this was like such a good roll. It's a, by the way, in case you're not sure, I live in the Central Coast and I'm out shopping today. So the roll I have is the firefighter roll from Arigato Sushi in Salinas. So if you're curious, that's where I'm at. It's not where I live, but it's where I'm at right now. Okay, don't spill it. Here's a picture of the roll. Dip it in the soy sauce. Here we go, bottoms up. Mmm, delicious. Just as good as last time I was here. I'm gonna finish what's in my mouth. I'm gonna finish the sushi roll and then Sunday fun day continues. See you guys later. Okay, so yesterday I bought my dad a sound bar, but it didn't come with a power cable or anything like that. And we have to wait for it and we have to order it. But I did come across a new sound bar. Check it out, 7.12 channels, which is an upgrade to my sound bar. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell my dad my old sound bar for $300, which is still a deal because it's still better than what he's got. And I'm gonna upgrade myself for $300. It's worth it. So this is what I'm doing. I'm the best buy. If you're purchasing a soundbar, take my old soundbar to my dad and swap it all out. It is $243 so far at Best Buy, and I have found a way to spend $300 this year. So much for saving money. Next year, next year we will save the money, I promise. So that's what I'm doing today. All right, so quick update. I did not upgrade my soundbar because even though that soundbar was a 7.1.2 and it said it didn't, wasn't missing anything, it was. It was missing like the subwoofer and the rear speakers and it made the soundbar completely not worth the price. So I am not upgrading my soundbar. However, yesterday I did buy my parents a soundbar. Well, they bought themselves one, I just picked it up for them. And it was missing the power cable and it was missing some other stuff. It was a 3.1.2 soundbar and I had to buy the power cable and stuff like that, but it was only like 300 bucks. However, this Best Buy had the same soundbar and it was in a box and it wasn't missing anything. And it's the same price, I double checked it. So I was like, um, I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna return the other soundbar that I just got them yesterday. And now they'll be able to just be able to use it because i had to like special order that other power adapter which i haven't done yet and now i don't have to do any of that because it's here they also had rear speakers that were open box for like a hundred bucks i went ahead and bought that for my parents as, a, as like a surprise slash i love you guys type of thing so i'm gonna help install the rear speakers for them so now they're gonna have a super dope 5.1.2 or 5.1.4 i don't know something one of those type of sound systems for the low low thank you Best Buy for their open box deals. But anyway, so here's it. here it is in the box. Can you see it? Focus on it. There it is. 
So anyway, so that's what they've got. And it came in a box and everything. I mean, this is so much better than the other soundbar I bought open box for them that didn't even have a box. They bubble wrapped everything. So yeah, that's all gonna be returned today later. But I gotta go inside, help set this up for my parents. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm at my parents' house and I did set up their new soundbar. Soundbar is right here, subwoofer. And I was able to pair their rear speakers and we kind of got them ghetto mounted onto an old candle holder, but it's made of metal and it is put into the studs. So we should be good on that. I'm gonna record their first experience really, really doing the Dolby Atmos, like full experience of their first experience with the new Dolby Atmos setup. So I'm gonna have them sit down right here and yeah, hopefully I'll find a really good Dolby Atmos movie for them to watch. So stay tuned for that. So right now I've got Saving Private Ryan, Dolby Atmos for my parents. They're gonna experience that first attack on Rombay scene in full Dolby Atmos for the first time. They've never seen this movie in Dolby Atmos. And now they're gonna see why Dolby Atmos is pretty dope for these war type movies. Here it goes. Okay, what did you think? Dolby Atmos for this movie real quick. Hold on. What do you think? It's Dolby very Atmos. cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah? Yeah. Se escuchan los sonidos como atrás de usted, verdad? Todo, yeah. Todo? Yes. Like it? Yes, I do like it. Can you? Okay. It's very loud. Yeah. All right, so my parents just watched uh, the main scene in Saving Private Ryan. We're going to rewatch the movie later and then see what okay. else I do later. Talk to you. Bye. Bye. All right, so that about does it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, uh, my parents really do love their Dolby Atmos with the rear speakers. And to be honest, I watched some of that movie. I've never experienced Dolby Atmos with rear speakers. It was pretty dope. So Dolby Atmos for the win. I do have my oh, my afternoon coffee. It is actually almost eight o'clock, so maybe I should stop drinking that, but I never learned my lesson. So I'm gonna probably chow on Drink that, chow, chow that down. You don't chow down a drink. You drink a drink. So I'm gonna drink that drink up and then yeah, just kind of unwind and get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday morning. June 4th, January 4th. <sighs> this, I'm already trying to make this year fly by. Okay guys, well, thank you so much for staying tuned. I really hope you guys like this little mini vlog or maybe it was a long vlog, I don't know. We'll see what type of vlog it is when I edit it. But thank you so much for staying tuned. If you liked this video, please leave a like and if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and subscribe. Until next time. Peace.